You can find all kinds of things from the past on display here at the Carbon County Historical Society, but Friday was maybe even a little bit more special. A new exhibit showcasing memorabilia from the 50s championship basketball teams in Belfry. And not just this, there were actual players here telling stories about that incredible group. Oh, I know. <laughs> I heard the stories. Wayne Cadman and high school best friend Tom McDonald had a lot of them. Friday, several of McDonald's daughters made sure to introduce themselves to Cat. Miss him every day. He was the best man in my wedding. I know, I heard that. Interactions like these were possible because of Glenna Alavizos, a 1955 Belfry graduate who wrote this book, The Golden Bats, about one of the greatest basketball dynasties in Montana history. To be number one of all those teams has a lot to say for itself. Belfry won the 1952, 53, and 54 Montana Class C boys basketball titles. Still to this day, the only three-peat in boys Class C history. We're the only ones. Never do. Okay, okay. What does it mean to be a part of that? <laughs> Curtis Royce and Cadman are the only surviving players at 90 and 87 years old, respectively. That pales in comparison to the guest of honor, head coach Bob Ray's wife, Alice. 2nd of September, I'll be 101. Congratulations. Thank you. It's quite a milestone. It is. It just creeped up on me. <laughs> <laughs> the three shared stories Friday in front of a full house inside the museum. More people then went to Belfry High School back in the 50s. Though attendance swelled when the nearby Bear Creek School closed because of the Smith Mine disaster, which killed 75 people and decimated the area. Cadman was a Bear Creek student. We didn't want to go anywhere. We, we want to stay in Bear Creek. That was our home. Belfry turned out to be just the right place. They were more than welcome. You couldn't ask for a bu better bunch of boys to, to be around, to pl play with. Bear Creek didn't have other sports. They just had basketball. And so we emphasized on basketball, and that's what we did. That talent, combined with Ray's coaching ability, was a match made in heaven. Ray moved to coach Butte High after the three-peat and promptly won two more titles. Alice still lives in the mining city and still follows the game. Oh, all the time. When you go to every game, you get used to it. You like it really well. <laughs> it brought entire towns together and still does. Friday's event was filled with family members of players from those teams, a reunion 70 years in the making. It seems like this is one big, happy family because of the Delta Bats basketball team. In Red Lodge, Casey Conlon, MTN News.